just picked up the new Nest thermostat. Uh, it's a 70E model. This is going to give us a lot more control. It's going to give us remote control uh, through our phone, so we're going to have access, and it's going to give us programmability. Um, let me show you how to install it. We're going to install this new one in replace of these old ones. Come on, let me show you. It's real simple. It's real easy. Opening the box, we can see that you only have four components. You have your trim plate, which you could use or you can decide not to use it. You have your base, you have your display, and you have two screws that they give you. You may need, may need more screws depending on how your install goes. Our first step will be to remove the old thermostat. Once we have the old uh, thermostat removed, we see the wires are exposed. Now I want to see what kind of power we have. Usually these thermostats are low voltage, so they're not that dangerous. So we don't have to be too concerned, but we still want to be careful. Safety always first. The meter tells us that we do have power flowing. It is a couple volts, but we will still, to be safe, we will uh, shut off the breaker. Once the breaker is shut off, we will double check for power. Remember, safety always first. Once you have the old thermostat removed and the wires are exposed, you might want to take a picture of how the, uh, the wires are connected. Uh, this may help in the future. And uh, looking at ours, ours looks pretty simple because we are not controlling an air conditioner. If you were controlling an air conditioner, you may have two to three more cables which this trick would be a little bit more handy. Now we're ready for the install phase. The first decision we have to make is, do we want to use the base plate? The base plate is just a big plastic cover that we'll use to cover up any uh, holes in the wall or any bad paint jobs. You can decide not to use it if you want. As you can see, we can put the base on without the base plate. It's your decision. I'm going to go with the base plate for now. I'm going to choose to use the base plate. So I'm going to mount the base plate. And before I set the second screw, I'm just going to level it. Connecting the base to the plate is very simple. It snaps in, and then you also have two screws to put in. These are the two added extra screws that you might need that they did not supply. You may need to trim up your wires a little bit to expose some of the copper and then it's an easy install. Press the button down and insert the wire in the hole and you are connected. You are ready to go. And now you are ready to go. Flip the power back on. Now you're ready to connect the control panel. And that's a 16 pin connector that you see at the bottom. you're ready to program. The, the controls are very simple to control. It is a push button in the center, 
and then turn the round white dial as you need to locate. So turn the white dial, locate your choice, press the center to enter. Once you follow the instructions, you will actually connect it to the internet and you'll be able to program your phone. You'll have to install an app on your phone and you'll have total control of your 70E Nest thermostat. That was pretty easy to install. It's also easy to use. Hey, hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deininger, just another backyard project.